is this a one-off kind of deal or is this something that could be a trend for the next few years for Carolina? Not a trend at all. I did their game the other day when they got beat by Florida State. And the problem is very simple, Will and, and Mike. Uh, it's simple. They don't make shots. They don't have guys that can shoot the basketball like they've had in the past. And plus, they had injuries. They got like three key players that would be in their lineup and rotation that are not there. And the bottom line is they're going to be back. Why will they be back? You know and I know the key to success success key to success in college athletics. Look, you don't become a genius. I mean, John Wooden would be the first to tell you when he's at UCLA. You become a genius when a guy walks in your office by the name of Lou Alcinda, who's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and he says, I'm going to play for UCLA. You become a genius when Bill Walton walks in and says, I'm going to play for US- UCLA. And the same with Mike Krzyzewski over the years, having all those great players, the Leitners, and you go on Grant Hills and Zion Williamson, he'll be the first to tell you, you got to have talent. And the talent is not there this year in North Carolina as it's been in the past, but they have. According to our guys, Paul B. and Cardi and them, who do a great job with their recruiting analysis, they have one of the top three classes in America coming in. So to all you Carolina fans who feel a little sad right now, I'm telling you, you're going to get the last laugh. All the people that pounce it on you now, forget about it, because the bottom line is Carolina is Carolina, and it will always get good recruits, and it will get back winning again because Roy Williams knows how to win. Dick Vitale here on Golik and Wingo. Will Kane filling in for Trey Wingo today. Uh, Dickie V, this is fascinating to me. So last year, the ACC has three number one seeds in the NCAA tournament. Um, also, by the way, last year, Texas Tech of the Big 12 makes the finals in the tournament. This year, Baylor's at number one, Kansas at number three. Look at the Big 12, all of a sudden a basketball conference. So if I look at this right now, ACC, Big 12, who, what's the best basketball conference in the country? That's a great question, but I'll tell you, it's very simple. It's not even close. Not even close. It's the Big Ten. In fact, I'm going to do the game, like I said, Saturday when Purdue plays Indiana, and I think I'm going to mention it again. I'm thinking seriously about it. I'm doing a little more analysis on it. But I think this is by far, in my 40 years at ESPN, where I've been blessed to be with some great people and work for 40 years, man, it's been unreal. It's a journey that's exceeded my dreams. But I will tell you this. I think it is the best Big Ten that I've seen in my 40 years in depth from deep. When you talk about every game is a battle, I mean, there's really a situation where if you don't come to play, I mean, I'm doing to give two really quality teams, Purdue and Indiana, and that's a big game. And they're both sitting right now. Indiana's one in the 500. And Purdue, who blew out last night a good in Iowa team, beat them 104, I think 68. They beat Michigan State 71-42. They beat the heck out of Virginia. Yet they're 6-6 six and six now in the conference. The conference is a monster. So there's no doubt the Big Ten is the best. This is not a vintage year in the ACC. They got three really legit what I call top 15 teams, top 10 teams, when you want to talk about them, certainly Duke and Florida State and Louisville. And I think Louisville is the best in the conference right now. Dickie V, who stands out to you, though, as an individual team? Is Baylor the the, the serious title contender that they look at right now? Like, who's your favorite as a team right now? You know, Baylor really impressed the heck out of me. I had them like the last about a week ago, and I was so impressed with them defensively. They're physical. They're strong. So Baylor was much better than I thought. Uh, I like this Louisville team. I like their size. I like their great player they have, Wara. I like their ability to guards they rotate. They got guards that can defend. They got guards that can shoot the ball like Ryan McMahon. And and I, I think Louisville really is a team to keep an eye on. Florida State, certainly very good, very physical. But Baylor is better than I thought. And don't forget the team out west. You know, I know everybody says, oh, they play in a league with no competition. Oh, really? Well, let them line up with the big boys when they're healthy, and they can beat anybody in the nation. And that's Gonzaga. The one great thing about this tournament this year, I mean, there's so many teams. I mean, you can sit here and analyze it all you want. A team at a five seed, six seed could run off six games in a row with the right pairings and win the national championship. The balance out there is unbelievable. Talking to Dick Vitale with us. Other Dick Vitale's Mount Rushmore of college basketball. You can get that at DickVitaleOnline.com. All proceeds go to the V Foundation. And, and Dickie, I know that means a lot to you, and we will certainly get to that. But I, I'm also curious in all this as we get back to the game. Again, it's Duke, it's Carolina. It means so much. 
But we remember what Duke was last year. And for a lot of people who were a part of the Zion experience and all the great players they had around that who might be coming off football season and might be looking up and wondering, all right, how has Mike Krzyzewski done this again? Number seven overall right now, a Duke team that's still in contention for all these things. What has Mike Krzyzewski done this year and with who that's been able to make them so successful post-Zion and all that talent they lost? Well, you know, getting new talent. Vernon Carey certainly a tremendous player. Carey's, uh, to me, uh, might be the player of the year in the ACC. If I were picking, it, probably get my vote right now today. But there's a lot of basketball he played. Uh, Trey Jones gives him a guard at the point guard slot. That is just terrific. So you got a combination on the perimeter and on the interior with Jones and Carey. That's a great way to start. And Mike's a brilliant coach. I mean, let's not forget the fact that, you know, a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. And Will and Mike Jr., you may disagree because I know you guys love football and you know we're going to get the round ball baby the round ball but let me tell you this that is a great thing for your topic for your people to talk about i said it the other day and it created a lot of reaction i think that mike krzyzewski is the best coach right now in all the sports that are actively coaching what he did with the olympic team and you talk about bringing back the pride to the usa he did that winning unbelievable gold medals twice thinking about the fact what he's done at duke the consistency ratio over a thousand wins championships galore and he's not lost that touch at all i would say my mount rushmore is if i was doing it right if i were doing it today you may disagree i'd say well obviously i got shashevsky I got Belichick, I got Saban, and I got my fourth one would be Popovich. If you look at the turtle total record, to me, those four guys actively coaching are the Mount Rushmore's of active coaches today. Now, you can, like I said, disagree, and I respect that. But really, uh, uh, I, re- I just think that much of what he has done in terms of the consistency ratio, you know, to be a wonder, one, two, three years is one thing. When you do it for decade after decade, that is special. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.